Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Witcher 3, The Witcher 3 of the Wild Hunt. Uh, sorry, I, for some reason I was going to say something else entirely, which is like Assassin's Creed or something, or, or whatnot. Um, yeah, where we last left off was that we finished up uh, another side quest, which was, uh, I think it was Father's Knows Best, I think it was. So yeah, it was Father's Knows Best, and now we're going to move into Wine Wars. Uh, which will be going to help the, I think, the wife of the couple who was, like, looking for help to save their vineyard. Uh, and they both thought the, the husband and wife thinks that both of them, or one of them, manipulated either one to kind of, like, lose their village or lose their rights to the village itself. So, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much where we're at right now for the, uh, episode or the series so far. So, yeah, it's been a long while since this game came out. I actually thought about it a little bit more outside of, like, recording and everything. Oh, jeez. Okay, sorry. I I'm just waiting till the lag kind of slows down a little bit. Um, considering that this is a new day and a new session in general, I just, like, I'm not entirely sure what's up. Yeah, there's, like, there's... Why is there a... Hey buddy, why are you on the floor like this? I'm confused. But yeah, it's been it's been kind of weird because it's been like five years. I realized that this game came out in 2015, I believe, and it's been five years since I've like started this series, and I've been slowly trying to finish this game, including its DLC, of course. Um, thinking about it, you know what? I might just walk to the objectives because. The reason why I want to say I want to walk through the objectives is because I want to make sure I can get some of these question marks on along the way, but at the same time, I don't want to at the same time. Should I? I don't know. I feel like the, the objectives would be nice to have because I get to see... Or walking around would be nice because it gets lets me see what the hell I'm expecting as I walk around the area. But I fast travel a lot because it saves me on time to figuring out, like... Or to bumping into random things I don't want to see. Like, uh... Random-ass monsters that just lives in their whole, like, location. Alright, well, anyways, I'll go freaking with the fast travel. Screw it. I was thinking not to do it, but I was like, mm. I mean, there's not a lot of question marks in between the points. It's like one or two only. If there was more, I would have definitely, like, go ahead and do more of them. Or find more of them. Alright, let's do one... Let's do all five of these in the episode. But yeah, it's been five years. <clears throat> okay. Um, it's been five years since I last uh, started this episode, or started this series in general, and it's like incredible how slow-paced I am to finishing this game. Um, but it, it shows, it kind of shows how big this game is, I feel like, and at the same time, it shows how much this uh, this game has grown on me, I guess, as, as, a, as a player of it. Yeah, I know. I'm here for that reason. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I can't tell by health. I can't tell by the health. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh, I died. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to health, actually. I was not paying attention to health because there was so much going on in that one field of, like, plants that I wasn't paying attention to my own health in that freaking fight. It was actually, like, weird because I was, like, not anticipating myself to fight right off the bat. I was anticipating them to talk to me about what's going on and then make me fight, but... I stalk the lard of the Duquesa herself. Okay. Um, but yeah, overall, like... I'll probably be prepared for this one, for sure, this time. Like, this time I'll be prepared for the fight. Because I was literally unprepared for that. that mug's a fright. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I wish to finish this game this year. Uh, if not by this year, then... Uh, well, I, I, yeah, I want to still try to finish the, this year, I think. But other than that... Ah, son of a gun! Why do you? Why aren't you pulling out your sword? Why aren't you pulling out your sword, Geralt? What the heck? Oh god! 
Oh. Okay. I don't know why you didn't take out a sword. I don't know why you didn't take out your sword. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, jeez. Okay, gotta back, back it up, back it up. Oh god, that was bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh boy. Oh come on, really? I don't have my sword out right now again. Okay, this is so stupid. Oh, oh, okay, okay, run, run back, back. Jesus, this is annoying. This is so freaking annoying. Like, every time I have to get close to them, they have to walk away. Or move away. Okay. Ow! Mm. Gotta get, gotta, gotta get back, gotta get back. There we go. There goes one. I need the other one. Come on, buddy. Okay. I'm thinking this is okay now. Whew. Oh. The spores will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Yeah, let's destroy it. Man, that was scary as hell. My fault too, as well. Ooh, okay, I keep doing that to myself every time when I just don't I think that I don't realize those are bombs that he drops <laughs> into the monster's nest or the infestation nest Like my brain isn't in, like My brain isn't like I thank you for the rescue You're one fine fellow with you. Thank you, I guess uh, I've sweat dripping down my bum furrow Oh, that was one of the tasks with the, uh, that was one of the tasks that the wife wanted me to take care of, apparently. Okay. Makes sense. Right, let's get going. Yeah, that was, like, really awkward and out of nowhere for me, because I'm just like, oh, okay, so that's the task I need to do. Not entirely sure, but okay. Alright, let's get out to wherever this is. But yeah, I forgot to mention that, uh... I forgot to almost mention the fact that I watched the Cyberpunk 2077, 20, 2077 live stream, the Nightwire episode 1. Apparently it's episode 1, so I'm actually super excited. Uh, I took the whole day just to watch it, and uh, I was watching other people's reaction and everything. I was just like, wow, this is actually interesting. Like, when I first initially watched it on my own, I was like, this is really cool. I really like this. And, like, I saw that there was multiple ways at the intro of how you wouldn't want to start off playing. And then, like, the trailer that they released with it was, like, literally just... Oh, gosh. It's, like, just the prologue. I was just like, wow, really? Just the prologue? Oh, God, again? You guys again? Oh, guarded treasure this time, too. Oh, come on. This is so stupid. Oh, okay, well, that almost killed me there. Oh, okay, that was close. Get out of here, dude. Where is the freaking? Ow! Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. That thing is in the bushes or the trees. I can't even see it. Where the hell? Where the hell would it want to go beyond there? I can't even hit it from here. Jesus. Oh god. Oh god. Gotta back it out here. Oh. Okay, I'll let it burn. Let it burn a little bit. Jesus, I hate this. It's in the middle of some other parts of the freaking area here. Ow. Mm. Get up. Get. No. 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 I needed to move out of that zone. I needed to move it out. Oh god, oh god, I'm almost dead. I didn't realize I didn't I wasn't paying attention to my health a little bit there. Move out of there, freaking Oh my god, let's move back in there. It would be easier if I if I didn't have to deal with that madness of like in between places. 
There we go. Jesus. God dang it, dude. Seriously, all of them are just literally plants, like, just getting at my nerves. Ugh. Hate it so much. Alright. Where's this plant? Other plant, I mean. Is there any actual guarded treasure here? But where the white terror... Oh, this is the, the thing that we were supposed to... great white terror on the contract. Could be the same damn beast as in the notice, though. I mean, it should be. Considering how, uh... How merciless the freaking beast could be, I would say. Got some stuff. Nice. Is there anything... Oh, there's more. Okay. I was, like, wondering if there's any more, like, items that I can just grab a hold of here. Uh... Oh, there's actually people Blow here. Blow itself didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. Hmm. What have we got here? No chance this letter wound up here by accident. V. Notes clear. Someone's out to sabotage Coronada. Shame I don't know who. Though I could still find out if I keep looking. Search the... Vermentino and find... Search for Vermentino and proof of sabotage. Interesting. So I can prove either one could be the reason behind the... The whole sabotage. The sabotage. I think it's better if I help the people first before I can actually go out there and like try to deal with whatever and whatnot. Actually, what sword did I get? 42? Eh, it's not that much. I can probably sell it eventually when I can. Greater mutagen? Sure, why not? Alkohest. Alkohest. Alko I think that's how you pronounce it. I am so bad at pronunciation there. Alright, cool. Um, Did I clear out the guarded treasure here? I have a feeling I did guard or take all the treasure already. Oh, god dang it. No, I didn't want that. I wanted to grab the treasure chest, which was nearby. I think that was it. I think that's it. I might be wrong, though. Yeah, that's a chest, but it's not really allowing me to do it. But yeah, overall, I'm excited for Cyberpunk, because uh, it, it really showed how much... Um, it has changed and evolved since the first time I saw it for the two-hour playthrough or the two-hour uh, I guess I wouldn't call it a prototype, but it was like an early alpha, I guess which, which is what it mentioned it as But overall, I mean like I'm very excited for that particular For the particular game because I'm like I'm looking forward to seeing how How much there is to it content wise that will make the game super interesting for me to play as though i will only probably play it for like the f the one initial playthrough i'll probably play the alternative paths on my own accord to see how that plays out because that's usually how i do it i think when it comes to kind of these kind of games with uh rpgs like dishonored i started playing like dishonored one as i mentioned like somewhere else in time I, or maybe I mentioned in this series, I can't remember anymore, because I've, I, I record a lot different, with different series, or different games that I sometimes would have similar style of things to talk about. What the hell? It's an abandoned site, so, more of you guys, ugh. Oh god. No, I didn't even reach him, wow, okay. Oh, come on. Oh god, no, back it up. The reason why I would ever, like, do worse is because I'm getting poisoned. Oh, come on. Out. There we go. I believe that was only one. I believe that was the only one to kill. Wait, what? Why is Geralt doing this? Wait, I'm so I'm so confused. Why did he just start going into a pose and a cutscene comes up came up? Is it because Garrett's supposed to expect somebody in this area? Oh no no, it's the abandoned site. Oh okay, okay I remember now. Just get off my back. 
Uh, what is it? Oh, God damn, what is that whistle? List marks with the seal of Liam Cor Coronada. Uh, pause and read, obviously. I won't probably read as much as through this. I'll probably read. I will just probably skim through most of the stuff I'm seeing here. Okay. Kind of weird. Needed to loot off of this guy, anyways. Dude, that screeching is annoying as hell. I don't know what the hell that screeching is in this game. Also, if I meditated for the abandoned site to restore, like, order, why the hell do I have to, like... Why didn't it heal me at the same time? Jesus. Alright, let's go to the next location, anyways. That sound is so annoying, where they're just screeching, like, like some screeching screech. I hope it's not, like, a monster I have to deal with and, like, get rid of. Because it's, like, annoying already as as it is with all that screeching. Uh, why the hell? Why is the marker telling me to go elsewhere? Let me see the map. This is confusing me. The marker is, like, telling me to go one way and then it's going the other way. I think it's telling me to go this way because it doesn't use water as a way to detect the thing. So going this way is actually naturally correct. Technically, it should be correct, but it's just... It's assuming... The marker is assuming that, uh... That I'm not wanting to go this way because of the fact that... That, uh, it doesn't lead me to the thing. But it should lead to me to the thing, honestly. What the hell? Oh, wow! That was a hard hit. Oh, jeez, he got me. Come on, bandit. Bye. <laughs> I I am back. I'm actually appreciating the. I'm actually appreciating the fact that the overhead uh, charge up attack is actually remotely useful. Actually, there's an actual chest here. Okay. I'm actually appreciating the fact that the that the uh, the attacks are now allowed for me to charge up an overhead attack, which is great. I actually like that. Um, I need to meditate when I get to a closer spot here. I'm almost there, though, so that's pretty good. The game's still continually thinking I'm, I'm walking in the wrong way, still. A little bit. It's like I can see the bridge from here, anyways. Oh, I see the monsters over there. Let me give me... Give me a little hour to restore my health. Yeah, I see the monsters. I think they look like, uh... They look like the water monsters, maybe? I might be wrong. Hidden treasure, okay. No, they're the like the golem ones. What now, you piece of Oh god, damn it. Oh wait, I need to get to Quentin because this is actually better with them. Ow. Jump away. Oh jeez, okay, that's really bad. Oh. Oh, no, no. Back it up. I have to use up my foods here. I have to back it up a little bit here. Okay. At least they're slow enough to let me kill them quickly enough. Where you running, buddy? Oh. Back it up. Got him. <laughs> he was about to pull out his... He was about to pull out his, like, rock from his body. Oh, okay, that was good. That was not that bad, though. Another thing... How come there's another letter from another person? Letter to Cosmos Serial. Enough of this hesitation, his this fretting, these feelings of guilt. Liam Coronada pays you practically nothing, but you got you've got a family to feed. So, do as I say. Load up a cart with barrels of that new spiced wine, and in the night, quiet as a mouse, haul it over from the estate. Hide the share of the down payment I've sent, because if someone wants finds you and with that coin kind of coin they'll ask start asking questions in business and quicker than they begin okay 
So basically, there's another quest beyond that. Ew! Oh my god. Apparently... Apparently this guy's money is in poop. Ugh. I absolutely hate this. Why the hell did you hide the money in the poop? Because it said it, look for the money in the poop. <laughs> manure. Manure is poop. <laughs> cow poop, maybe. I don't know. It's not cow dung, I don't think. I don't know if manure is cow poop, honestly. I only think the manure is, like, animal poop in some ways or form. Okay, let's see how far this is, actually. Oh, it's in the... That thing. Okay, well, I mean, I can go there right now. It's not like it's gonna hurt me as much. Hey, let's take the bridge. I think this game doesn't... The, the tractor for this game doesn't use bridges as a way to determine, like... Doesn't use bridges to determine, like, the road paths that work for the... For the moving into the areas, I guess. That's a little bit of an issue, but it's not as big, I think. Because I, I kind of understood that. That I can just go on the bridge and... The tracker will follow me back from there. I am also partly curious if it's AI related. Like if the marker tracker thing is like made through uh, using AI work. But I'm not entirely sure either because it, it, I can't tell if it uses an AI to kind of draw the line. Or if it's just custom made with like the stuff to make it work like that. But I highly doubt it should be custom. That's like a lot of like technical like movements to make it like work the way it should work and look at the mountain from afar yeah i, I saw the uh the cyberpunk stuff and they were talking about brain dance which was like a narrative piece of thing like an investigation thing which was really cool um they did like a little trailer with the prologue only and i was just like wow that's crazy because like imagining it to be like 50 hours long main story wise 50 hours long 50 to 60 hours long and then if you add the side quests, it's probably like up to 100. It's similar in size of what um, Witcher 3 was all about for the uh, for this game. Because I believe that it took me 100 hours to beat. A little bit near 100 hours, or maybe over, uh, for me to explore some certain parts of the map. Uh, do the side quests, pick up all the contracts. And or... And or doing like all the other side quests and such, or all those additional activities and such. It's incredible how crazy that is, and I'm still playing it. <laughs> and then I'm probably like marking into like almost 300 hours in terms of playtime almost, but it's not really. Okay, what am I looking for? They're telling me to look for a stash in a mo a manure pile. Oh, it's in here. Oh. Is this water or is it poop? It looks like water. Yeah, it looks like water. Who said that? Let me kick you. <laughs> Let me kick you in the face. Is it? Is this not the? This is not the man here. No, I don't think so. This is like because there's actually bucket or wash uh, wash buckets around the area, so I think that they are. I think they are uh, water for them to wash their clothes in, so... Where the hell is the man here? Oh wait, what the heck? Why is this thing uh, like... That stench. I see it. Alright, I got it apparently. That was really weird. I actually didn't think that that... <laughs> I think that's the weirdest quest I've ever done in my life. Alright. Um, damn it, the quest just goes back into the weird places. Uh, da -da 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 -da. where is the thing I need to get? Coronado, yes. Um, yeah, I'm not doing the optional yet. I just want to help her finish her thing first. And then I'm going to go and help him do his thing. And then it would give me a good perspective of what the two did to each other, technically. So, actually, let me see the map first. Is there anybody who's like a Gwent player or something like that? Okay, I need to go all the way up there again. Okay, no, it doesn't look like there was a Gwent player around. Right, let's go over there and. Uh... What the hell was he saying? 
I think he was just drunk just speaking. Arrest warrant. Attorney General of the city of Bruxelles. Bruxelles. Uh, has des designated a reward to be given him blah blah blah. Which or not, you still to bust your bum. Okay. Um, but it looks like it's somebody who's needing to be arrested somehow. It's also interesting that they have peacocks as their, uh, is the animal of choice for this area. Like, instead of chicken and hens. Is that a cat? I don't know if I passed by the horse and it meowed at me, or I just passed by a cat near a horse that it's just the cat just meowed me, meowed at me. Jesus. All right. All right. We should be getting closer and closer, which is not bad. Three hundred is not that bad. Three hundred meters. Okay. I thought I picked up like resources, the the plant resourcing. All right, we should be almost closing in, but it looks like it's going to be in the forest again. I hope it's not plants again, because if it's plants again, I'm just going to be like, god dang it. <laughs> like, dude, seriously? Actually, I need to look at my inventory and see if my sword is okay. 97%, 85%, that's totally fine. I got a pants. Eh, it's a little weaker than what I need it to be. Yeah, the rest I just need to sell when I can. Looks like I fully healed, no, though. Trading posts. Camp's abandoned, but a lot of this damage is recent. Guess I arrived just a little too late. God dang. Should look around still. Man, bled to death. Big beast inflicted these wounds. Clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile, too, judging by what ripped his throat open. Oh, mm. okay. All right. Um, actually, give me a pause. Let me actually clear up my nose. My nose is starting to bother me a little bit. Um, I'll be right back. It'll be as quick as a snap. So it's going to be like a, a quick cut as usual. So, all right, cool. Sorry, I, I, I think I snapped my position differently. I like it when I snapped it at the initial part of it. More mutagen? More green mutagen freaking? Oh, there's a die. Oh, no, no. Oh, damn it. I'm trying to lower the volume from my uh, my headphones here. Yellow armor die. Mm, I'll cut. I'll probably keep this away because I don't think the die matters as much for me. Yeah, I already have a yellow die on my own, anyways. Yellow armor die. I already have it. I don't really need it. Though I don't know why I need. To have so many dies though. I might sell some because they do have a price on them. That's evenly good. So it seems like there's a monster with like with tiny sizes that has been um, ripping through some of these people's bodies somehow. Blood of the fresh variety. Monster attack was recent. Wow. I mean you said that already, Carol, that it's a recent attack. Okay, he would examine the blood. Let me grab all this loot anyways, because I want to make sure I want to get some stuff ahead of the curve a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking for right now. Beyond the bodies and... Beyond the bodies and the treasures here. Oh, my items has been enhanced. I like how it's just, like, preventing me, but it's still it still gave me the feedback that I had, like clicked on it <laughs> or looked into it what am I look what else am I looking for beyond the, the dead bodies oh there it is signs of a fight paw prints beastly ones that's clear just on this spot though hmm aerial attack must have been are Draconid. we fighting gotta oh. be maybe a basilisk Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. Okay. Oh. 
Why does this guy have white dangerous. hair? I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. It'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter, and quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. What? Look after it? It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Yeah. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. You post those warnings? Indeed. To prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Yeah. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. That's not cool. That's stupid. Hmm. Pay the victim's family's compensation? Why? Yeah. These lands have been my family's for decades, granted to us by Duchess Ademarta. Beyond them, the basilisk ventures not, hunts not, it does not kill or destroy. Provided it is not provoked. Yet if it does destroy, if it kills, I compensate all for the loss from my own coffers. I have a feeling... Hmm, your coffers... Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate for those shredded by your beast? Yeah, that's Naturally, not a good thing, Naturally, I cannot revive the dead, but I do make generous restitution to their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 crones, this unfortunate uh... merchant's family, to be duly indemnified as well. I think this is actually part of the main quest stuff. I'm actually bumping into the main quest stuff by random chance. How the hell did this happen? <laughs> Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? Yeah. The last of this subspecies. Their population was much larger at one time, see? Before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In turn, a staple of the basilisk diet. When roe deer grew scarce, basilisks made humans their staple food. Enter the witchers. Yeah. And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But your cast's mate passed on, alas. Oh, wow. Your cast? Should she not have a name? My father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. Oh, come on. Your cast was brooding then. Two eggs. That she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. So potentially this is actually its kid rather than the basculus, the, the woman basculus that they were making up for or making, making, or taking care of, sorry. Who exactly right are you? And how do you develop such an interest in the beast? Yeah. Count Borges. Happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. As family legend has it, a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. Uh... She took the tyke back to her nest, where she fed him as if he were one of her own youngsters. That's Malarkey. weird. To be sure. But beautiful malarkey it is. Screw off. Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? Of course I have an idea. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Find it myself then. Easy to track with its distinct paw prints. Mentioned two merchants. So I might also look for the other corpse. Still, it's not right to let future people die because of the fact that you want this monster to stay alive. Unless it actually had real meaning to keep it alive, then maybe, but still. Okay, so we got a silver basculus on our hand, but that's not the one thing that we're hunting for. We're hunting for uh, something else entirely, yet it's kind of apparently on the way of getting to the thing. 
entrance. That is not where I needed to go. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was about to fall down in there. <laughs> I was like, oh, gosh. Okay, this is where we needed to be at. Person in distress. Person in... They don't know if there's multiple or some. So it's in this cave, I see. Really? Alright, well, let's do this, and then I'll end the episode after we finish dealing with this, I guess. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Goodbye. They had strawberries and cucumbers and mushrooms? Wow. Cool. Thank you, noble knight. I'd ventured north in search of herbs for a new flavored wine. When suddenly... Calm You're down. okay it's now. Over. Yeah. The bank did less kidnapped me. In hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm free and safe thanks to you. Should you need any herbs, I've a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you work me there? Uh, let's go, I guess. Lead the way, right behind you. Behind, which is interesting. Don't tell me it's forcing me to walk off. Oh, I, I saw some items in there. Items of interest. I guess that's how it's going to be for now. There we go. Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? Uh, sh no, but okay. Master Liam doesn't seem a diligent proprietor. Yeah. He tries as best he can. It's not his fault our vineyard suffered plague upon plague. Plagues? What kind? Well, the enormous yellow man-eating sun juice, for instance. You cannot set foot into the brush for fear of coming out a head shorter. Huh. Show me what you got. All right. She doesn't sell any cards, but I can probably sell her die, can I? No, I can't even sell her die, even though she's selling dies. Oh, wait, no, they're just potions. Never mind. Returns all ability points spent developing mutations to the pool, so you can re reallocate them. Mutagens spent developing mutations will not be returned. Returns all ability points spent to develop abilities in the, to the available pool, so you can re redistribute them. Couldn't I do that from the beginning already? To redistribute my mutagen? Oh. Alright. Yeah, sorry about that. Apparently, GOG 2.0 just literally randomly did it again. Where it just... I want to talk to you, Roz. I want you to see what I have in store. Yeah, I, I closed out GOG 2.0, like, the window itself. I, I closed it out, and then I was just like, whatever. And then it just randomly showed up, and then it started importing stuff. I guess it's been about 30 minutes plus since the last time I closed it. So maybe that's the reason why it was doing that. But yeah, it looks like she was selling some potion stuff that I don't really need. What the hell? Um, yeah, see, it's dye solution that I can sell, apparently. Okay, whatever. Thanks. See you later. All right, well, we protected this lady, but we didn't get the message that the bandits had, I think. I'm wondering if there was a way to get to that message thing if I could, but I don't remember. Actually, I can't go back there. Okay, let me see if there's a trading post, uh, if I can fast travel to that trading post. Yeah, it looks like I cannot go there if, like, I'm not taking this. Let me mark that. I kind of know where it's at, so we just need to fast travel to this trading post, and then we'll follow that. Um, without investigating... Vermentino's problems let Liam take over Belgiard or continue investigating and deal with Matilda's problems. Okay, so basically I can do two options and that would be the case of how I would deal with it. But I want to see what his side of the problems are and then figure out a good pic a good big picture 
uh, for myself to kind of determine what the hell is going on with these two people, with the with the couple that has been requesting me to do these wine wars in general. Um, let's grab a fast travel to the trading post. It's the trading post is the most closest to the to the thing, anyways. I am extending it a little bit, which apologies for myself again. I sometimes do. I don't like doing it, but it's like. I'm doing it because I want to uh, kind of get this kind of like out of the way a little bit. There we go. Um, this way. I want to do this because I want to figure out the truth behind everything to kind of get a bigger picture and then be able to determine who's right and who's wrong and who deserves this whole vineyard because whoever rules over this vineyard will literally be the guy or the girl to like go to for this whole story parts of the areas I guess like they will be in control for whatever it is let me go and meditate as well soon here there's a deer is this the cave yes siree this is the same cave oh wait 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 yeah I saw that thing when I came in here too here is the thing the mace that I saw. They did have a chest, didn't they? There's a thing over here, though. Dirty letter. I will be short to the point. You're to grab Liam's herbalist and keep him from finishing production of that new wine. Leave the girl alone till I send more orders. Don't mess this up, you bum brains, beats roots. So there's probably a third person involved in this whole mess, and that third person wasn't the reason behind... Oh, I could have walked in from the, the outer side of there and gotten the same results of being in here. Yeah, because that big giant hole over here literally was the same place anyways. It's literally the same road to get into here. Oh, jeez. Did I just find a dead end here? Oh no, I'm forced to come. Oh no, I'm, I'm stuck here. Oh my god, this sucks. I actually trapped myself in here. Is there monsters in here? Is there even a way out? Oh, there is a way out. Okay, I was confused. I was like, what the hell, dude? There we go. Yeah, there is a way out. That's great. I thought that was like no way out. I was like, oh dear god. <clears throat> I think I looted everything in here. Alright, cool. Alright, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds, and hope you guys have a great, amazing day, weekend, night, or whenever watching this. Uh, deeply, again, I apologize for making these episodes longer than they normally would. I did say I would never hit an hour, which I don't for the past few episodes, but at the same time, some of these episodes have been long because of the fact that I get distracted or the, the game really drags for more, like, effort to be put into the thing. But sometimes I just don't know it. Like, I, I just... I just get pushed into it, pretty much. Alright, in the next episode, we will go ahead and start doing Vermintino's Tino's side. Vermintino's side of his wine wars. Solve his problems, do whatever he needs to do from there. And then we will ultimately decide on who gets the vineyard at the very end of this. Because at this point, from the perspective of Coronata, the wife, uh, the wife so far has a one-sided deal where the husband has been sending a lot of folks to kind of disrupt her business. While for him, we don't know if it's the same where the wife sent her side of the people to disrupt his business. And also maybe hurt uh, whoever the third person was, which was... Belgard? Belgard? Um, don't know if he's probably also dealing with their, their issue because the, both of them are hurting his business rather than the other way around of hurting each other. Like it ultimately hurt... It ultimately was them two fighting, but then it also hurt the third person who was actually in the business with them. Uh, which is completely manipulative, honestly. Or, not Belgard, uh, Liam, sorry. Yeah, that's the name. I'm trying to reread it again just to see. Um, yeah, I won't... I, I really don't know... I really didn't investigate their problems so that's gonna be a problem for me so i might not have a big big picture but i might have a big picture or a decently big picture to understand what's going on with everybody in this stupid wine wars anyways so we're gonna have to travel over to this side of the area 
so this whole region is one vineyard, I guess, this whole like region. And this whole region is another vineyard, which is Vermentino's vineyard, pretty much, I feel like. Okay. Well, we're going to have to deal with all that stuff soon enough. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. So let me see. Is there things I can equip before we go? That looks good. But I need to be 45, which is five levels away. So I'll probably keep it around and then sell the rest of the other stuff I don't need. All right. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And that's pretty much it for me in this episode for now. In the next episode, we'll go and help do the wine wars with Vermentino. I know it's not a great idea, maybe, because of the fact that we're seeing... Well, I mean, it's good for XP and it's good for experience and it's good for the story for me to understand what's going on. But at the same time, I'm ultimately going to have to decide on between the two people who deserves this vineyard between the two more than the other. Who knows exactly. So, anyways, other than that, that's it for me in this episode. So, Roz, out.